State of New York tonight leaping to the forefront in the national debate over gun control, cracking down on who can buy assault weapons. Meanwhile, in the last gun massacre involving an 18-year-old with an assault rifle, the elementary school in Texas, a teacher was wounded and watching nearly a dozen of his students shot and killed. And now speaking exclusively to ABC News about how police didn't act. Here's Josh Oniger. As parents pleaded with police to do something to take out the Uvalde shooter. I said, I don't know what's going on, um, but let's go ahead and get under the table. A teacher named Arnolfo Reyes was trying to protect his students in one of the connected classrooms the shooter had invaded. He told ABC News he and his students could hear the police right outside the door. One of the students from the next door classroom um, was saying, officer, we're in here, we're in here. But they had already left, and then um, he got up from from my behind my desk, and he walked over there, and he shot over there again. Reyes, who was shot twice, watched 11 of his students die. Now, as the local police face a national reckoning over their botched response, and as the mass shootings continue, this one in Philly, where gunmen killed three over the weekend, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy says there may finally be progress on Capitol Hill. Well, I'm certainly prepared to fail. Um, I'm more hopeful for success than ever before. A fierce gun control advocate since the Sandy Hook massacre in his state, Murphy says more Republicans have come to the table than ever before, supposedly open to strengthening background checks, offering state incentives for red flag laws to make it harder for the mentally ill to buy firearms, and increased funding for school security and mental health. Still many Republicans are unmoved, and when it comes to raising the age to buy an assault rifle, federal lawmakers may punt that to the states. Today, New York became the first to raise the age to 21, something that might have prevented both Uvalde and the Buffalo supermarket shooting days before, both committed by 18-year-olds who purchased their guns legally. It just keeps happening. Shots ring out, flags come down, and nothing ever changes, except here in New York. But just this weekend, America was gripped by over a dozen more mass shootings. And so the nation yet again looks to its elected leaders for help. What will they do?